Okay guys, so there's uh, one more thing I forgot to mention uh, with this telescope. Uh, that's actually very, very important that I don't want to gloss over and forget. Uh, it's what to do when the telescope starts to drift or, or go to or slew or move uh, too close to the horizon, uh, whether that be uh, down low, horizon, or toward the zenith uh, too far up. Uh, the Sky Commander system actually doesn't have any axis limits or axes limits uh, that would prevent it from going too far up or too far down. Um, so you always want to be cognizant and realize where in the sky the telescope is currently pointed and then where you're asking it to go to with the Sky Commander and ServoCat systems. Um, so let's take a look over here. I'll give you an example. We'll take a look here on the screen of the Sky Commander we have I moved it to a different catalog so that the up and down, the altitude here up and down, is 76.5 degrees down all right, from where the telescope is currently pointed. All right, so um, it's pointed not quite that high, so 75 degrees uh, would be very close to the horizon or a little bit below the horizon. All right, so you definitely don't want the telescope to do that go to. You run the risk of the telescope going below horizontal and going down toward the ground. All right, um, so we want to avoid that if, if at all possible. Uh, I, I know accidents happen, but let's see what we could do to avoid that. All right, so uh, what we want to do here is I'm going to show that go to. Uh, and then what I'm going to do after I hit the go to key is very quickly I'm going to hit these three keys here. And actually what you could do is any three keys. All right, we call this the three finger salute, um, or Gary at Stellar Cat calls it that that will stop the telescope dead in its tracks. So any three keys, could be these three, could be these three, could be these three, these three, these three, any three keys on this hand pad here will stop the telescope. So let's hit uh, go to, all right, because we're here at 76 degrees down. We're gonna do go to. The telescope's gonna start going down. We're like, oh no, it's gonna go too far. We have to hit these three keys. One, two, three, I just hit those three and the telescope stopped. You heard it stop, you heard the motor stop. So that telescope is done. It stopped moving, you've saved it. All right, so always be cognizant of where you are in the sky versus where you're asking the telescope to go, and you don't want it to go too low. Uh, too high is not quite as bad um, if it just goes vertical, because it'll eventually hit the stop. This box will strike the inside of this box here. The mirror box will hit the rocker box. Not the end of the world, not quite as bad as driving this down uh, toward the ground and potentially having the bearings come off of the Teflon pads um, and then that could be a whole bunch of trouble so you wanna again I keep saying it but you wanna avoid that so again you know look at where you're pointed versus where you wanna go and compare the two to make sure you're not asking the telescope to go down too low or up too high alright any questions let me know I'm happy to help thanks a lot